Here we have 10 math and physics books. I picked these at random and this is what we have. What's really interesting is that they're all so different. So all of these books are on different topics. So they're very, very different. And I can say a lot of really interesting things about some of these. Let's start at the top with this one. This one is called Elementary Topology, a Combinatorial and Algebraic Approach. Academic Press Textbooks in Mathematics by Donald W. Blackett, Department of Mathematics, Boston University. Let's look at the contents. This has math you've probably never seen. The target audience of this book is undergrads or beginning grad students. Some examples of surfaces, the classification of surfaces, complex conics and covering surfaces, mapping into the sphere, vector fields, network topology, some three-dimensional topology. So math you've probably never seen. Two of the simplest examples of surfaces in three-dimensional space are the sphere, which is the surface of a solid ball, and the torus, which is the surface of a donut. Cool, right? So, interesting book. This next book is a calculus book, but it's Calculus for Business. This is written by Richard D. Anderson and Cecil L. Smith. This is a great book. It's got really good explanations. I have spent um, some time with this book. I, I've read some portions of this book. Um, it has these flow charts throughout the book, which are really, really cool. Um, and here's another one, see? And, and I, I like them because they kind of explain the steps. It just takes a very unique approach. It's, it's got some topics that you might not see in those big, thick calculus books, like the one by Larson or Stuhl or Thomas, or you know, there's so many, so many good ones out there. And this has stuff that you won't find in some of those. At the same time, those have topics you definitely won't find in this. So um, let me just briefly show you the contents of this book. Just some of the chapters so you can see what's in it. So the derivative, applications of the derivative, it even covers Newton's method. Um, if you compare this book to newer books on uh, business calculus, this one has a lot of topics. And some of the newer ones do too. Most of the time, not all of these topics are actually taught uh, in a business calculus class. So if you do take a class uh, on business calculus and you get this book, you're going to learn a lot of stuff that you won't learn in your class because this has a lot of stuff in it. So yeah, really, really cool book. Here's a book on mathematical statistics with applications, seventh edition, Johnny Froon's. Yeah, this is um, a textbook that is good for someone who wants to learn mathematical statistics. It's a solid book. It's got you know, correct mathematics. It's clean. It's got tons of content. And you get answers to the odd numbered problems, which is really nice. So yeah, this is a really nice book for mathematical statistics. This one is called Contemporary Abstract Algebra. This book, I've had this book for a very, very long time. This is one of the oldest books uh, that I have in terms of how long I've had it. I bought this book because a friend of mine uh, said that he was using it for a course. And he said it was a really good book. And he said it had really good examples. And I bought it, and I agree. And I always think of this as a book of examples. It's got good examples in it. Um, this is not a book that I used to learn algebra. I want to emphasize that. I used it as a reference for examples, uh, and I've looked at it a couple times. I've done, I've done some exercises from this book. I've, I've sat down and worked out problems from this book. Um, and again, it's just got good examples. I've mostly read portions of the book and look, looked at like specific examples of rings and um, things like that. So, But wonderful book. People use this as a book to learn algebra. My friend did. So, you know, other people have used it to learn. Um, I used I used the Saracino book primarily to learn and um, the book by Beachy and Blair as well and, and some others too. And, and this one, and this one, but um, this wasn't my primary book. Great book though. Here is a book on physics. Uh, this is the combined edition of Holiday and Resnick, Physics for Students of Science and Engineering. This is a big, thick book. I got to give it a whiff because I know it's got a great smell because I've already smelled it. Oh, my copy. I love this. Just gravitation. Yeah, 
right? Interesting historical introduction. This is a big, thick physics book. And this is a classic book on, on physics, right? So if um, you're looking for physics books, I definitely recommend this one. There's a gazillion editions uh, of this book. Um, this is the combined edition of um, this book. So by David Halliday and Robert Resnick, yeah. Yeah, awesome. I should make a video just on this book because I can, I can talk about it for a long time, but I will move on because this is very interesting. I usually don't talk about books on partial differential equations and people have been asking, hey, what's a good book on partial differential equations? This is a pretty good book on partial differential equations. Um, it's a topic that is gonna take a lot of time to learn. Um, you definitely want to know ordinary differential equations before you learn it, but this is a nice, clean book. Um, you can, this, this was not me, this was someone else. You can tell they were really motivated at the beginning, and then, uh, you know, the, the writing stops. That's typical in math books. There's some writing there, okay, they were working there. Like you'll see, like in this book here, um, let me show you, see there's highlighting. Saw some highlighting there. There's highlighting here, you see all this highlighting? And then it, it goes away. Like the further you go in the book, the, the less highlighting you see. So, yeah, this is, this is a great book for learning. I mean, this is awesome. This is, I mean, if you could get it at a decent price, buy it. Um, you know, it's a, it's a partial differential equations book, and it's big, and it's got exercises. Um, it's perfect for self-study. Let me show you some of the contents really, really quickly. So separation of variables, that's something that you learn in every DE class. Fourier series, vibrating strings and membranes, Stern Louisville eigenvalue problems. Some more stuff here. Partial differential equations with at least three independent variables. Ah, it just keeps going, right? Lots, lots of topics. Green's functions for time independent problems. Infinite domain problems, Fourier transform solutions of partial differential equations. Wow, look at all this. See, this is, this is, this is incredible. This is amazing. Um, there's also a Shams partial differential equations, which, which is okay. Um, it's affordable. That's, that's the good thing about that one. Selected answers to start exercises. Let's, let's take a look at that because that's key. Um, so, you know, these problems, some of the problems can be very long and like really want to be able to check your answers, right? Because it's just a lot of work. Uh, you know, I, I took um, my experience with, with partial differential equations is that I, I, just, I, took, I just took a course, uh, an undergrad course though. I did not take a grad course on uh, partial differential equations. And um, I used the book by Strauss when I took the course. And I, I felt that the book was good, it was hard, and it had a few typos, and there was like their rata online, but like it wasn't, it wasn't complete. There was, there was typos that weren't there. Um, but that's, yeah, they, there's an updated edition, and they've probably been fixed. Basic Mathematics for Calculus by Zill, Dewar, and Wright. This is a fun little book. Look, it's got an old price tag on there. Look at that, 36.65. That, that's yellowing, yellowing. I don't know how much this book is now. Um, I, I'm assuming it was more than that, new. When's the copyright in this? Well, I don't know, I, I don't know, I don't know. 83, 83 Wadsworth, 70, Wadsworth Publishing, they, um, they have some fancy books. There's other, I have other books by Wadsworth Publishing actually. Um, every once in a while I will, um, you know, cause I, I collect books and so like I'll notice uh, certain publishing companies have like very elegant uh, I, I don't know. There's just there's some nice ones. For example, like a lot of the the, the Apostle book has a great great dust jacket, the first uh, first edition. So this is basically like a pre calc book. It's got trig, it's got algebra. Um, it's it's it has less topics than a lot of the other pre calc books out there. But it's just basic mathematics for calculus. You could it's kind of nice. You can you can like read the whole book. You can actually work through this entire book. This next book here is one that um, some people on the channel had recommended before, and I bought it and I talked about it. I believe I made a video on this uh, on this book. It, this is a very good book for beginners who are trying to understand analysis. It's called Understanding Analysis by Stephen Abbott. Um, uh, it's a Springer book, so 
as far as price. Usually Springer books are a little bit more. I, I, there's a lot of Springer books I don't have, and one of the reasons um, I don't have them is because they, they cost more, right? I mean, so, yeah. Yeah, 2001 Springer. So, The Irrationality of the Square Root of Two. So this, this book is perfect. You can see the contents here. Um, for someone who, who wants to get into, into analysis. Very elementary introduction. You know, it's nice and clean. Nice little book to start with. This one <laughs> is a book that um, is also a Springer book. And I, I, I wanted this book for a long time. I, I think it took me like over a year to buy this book. I really wanted it, and I wouldn't buy it for two reasons. One, um, it's not super inexpensive. Like, I, I know I paid like... I think I paid it like at least $45 for this book. And that's you know, a lot for a book, I think, especially when you collect books and you have a lot of books. You know? So um, that, can, that can add up. So I try to be really you know, careful with my purchases. And I, another reason I didn't want to buy this book is because it's a soft cover. But I'm really glad I bought it. This is a really interesting book, and I really love the cover. So it's called Basic Mathematics. It was written by Serge Lang. And it's got, oh, I just got to smell it. It's really nice. It actually has just basic mathematics. There is a hard cover. I'm pretty sure it exists. I've never seen a picture of it or anything. Um, someone left a comment saying that they had the hard cover. They can confirm that it exists because they own it. So um, I, I'm pretty sure it exists. I've done some research on the internet. There is a hard cover out there, but um, I, I, I don't own it. So basic mathematics, yeah. Serge Lang with 223 illustrations. Serge Lang, yeah. 1988, wow, wow. And, and, and the book feels new. I mean, I, I bought my copy, uh, I, I think it said new. I think it said new when I bought it. To Jerry, I wonder who Jerry was. The present book is intended as a text in basic mathematics. Hmm. That's right. And it just has like some topics that he thought is like, hey, I think these are fun topics that I want to put in a book. And I think it's basic mathematics. So he made this book, and boom, you have a book on basic mathematics. Serge Lang wrote a lot of books. Um, he's a prolific writer. Um, this is a good book for beginners. Um, you can use this for self-study. Um, yeah, I like this book. I think it's pretty cool. And you have answers to some of the exercises as well in the back of the book. So when I first got this book, I was really excited. I'm like, oh, I just got the book. I want to make a video. So I made the video, and I didn't think the book had answers because if you look in the, in the, in the, um, in the contents, because you know, this book took me like one to two years to buy. I mean, it's, it's, it, was a big, it was a big deal to me when I got this book. <laughs> so... <laughs> It's not a rare book. It's widely available. You know, I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. It's not like a rare book or anything. It's just because it's a Serge Lang book, and it was called Basic Mathematics. So I thought, oh, i got to check that out. That sounds so cool, you know? Um, but, yeah. See, there's no, there's no solutions. It just says index, you see? So I thought that this didn't have answers. And then, so, yeah, I was wrong. Basic Mathematics by Serge Lang. Wonderful book. Um, I highly recommend it. It's fairly well made. I mean, so far so good. This is one. Uh, it's interesting. This really deserves its own video. It's called How to Solve Physics Problems by Omen and Omen. And it's basically a book of how to solve physics problems, like solve physics problems. And it's awesome, right? It's awesome. It really is. It's got tons of stuff. Highly recommend this book. I don't know how difficult it is to find. Apparently someone paid $1.99 for it uh, a long time ago. Um, it's in here someone else, eight forty. Something so it's fun to have the old price tags. I was kind of I was I was taking it off and I thought you know what no I mean that, you know you never know how old that is I don't know it's kind of cool it's kind of like the history of the book um, yeah anyways those are some math and physics books that I think are pretty interesting let me just put them out here again so you can see them and I will try to remember to um, leave links in the description in case you want to uh, in case you want to check these out um, so a lot of these are newer editions so if I find a newer edition I might just I might just link the newer one I'll, I'll just see like 
A lot of times with the newer editions, uh, what happens is it's really expensive, and I notice that it'll say like there's one available, so I'm like ah, so I'll, I'll maybe I'll find some used copies. Like this is used, um, combined edition. I don't know how how hard that is to find, but that's that's a thick book, right? That's thick. Wow, wow, wow. That's awesome. That is awesome. Anyways, I hope you have enjoyed this video and um, keep doing math. And yeah, until next time, good luck. Take care.